Mortality! Ugh. Oh, the line that freezes you in time is sublime and that... What? Yeah, yeah, okay, sir. Whatever you say, sir. What are you going to do, arrest me? Hey, you know, if this doesn't work out, you can always go bar to bar with a polar one. Hell, the Moonies need a guy with your kind of talent. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, make sure this comes out good, all right? I want to send a copy to my mom. She hadn't had a decent picture of me since I dropped out of the eighth grade. <laughs> burglar, burglar, burglar. I gotta be the first son of a bitch ever busted by a car alarm. Believe that? I mean, do you ever get a guy with that piece of luck in here? I mean, nobody pays attention to those things except to say how annoying they are, how fucking annoying the guy is who lets them go off for 20 minutes at 5 in the morning. I mean, you know, when you're really into those deep Z's, I'm the first. I gotta be. A car alarm. And this thing actually talks. Burglar, 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 you are too close to the vehicle. Fuck you. I'm just laughing my ass off. I don't know. It just happens sometimes, you know? Like when you have one or two hits of the good stuff and scratch that. Anyhow, it was freaking hysterical at the time, and that's why I'm here now. I was laughing just long enough for the guy to come running out of his house and knock me on my butt. I can usually get a stereo in 20 seconds, but I was cracking up. You know, and before I know what happened, boom, there's three of them on me. I probably could have took them, except the first guy blindsided me. Cheap shot. Who cares, you know? I mean, a little broken glass and a dashboard. There's no reason to hit a guy from behind. I mean, what's he going to lose? He could have had some decency. I mean, if he's smart, he's got insurance. And it's those insurance bastards that ought to help the handy that they, they steal from everybody. I was doing the guy a service. Because of me, he's getting his money's worth. You know, I always check the glove compartment, and you can usually find the insurance card in there. And I always leave that right on the driver's seat. <laughs> I think that's pretty considerate, don't you? But you don't. I'll, I'll give a rat's ass what? All right, all right, put some ice on it. I'm still. Burglar, burglar, burglar. I wonder whose voice that is. I wonder if he gets paid by the bus. I like the lady who, who tells you the time. You know, at the tone, the time will be, who in the hell is that? or not. I'm on the line. What are you waiting for? I am still. You're just not quick enough. Hey, are we going to strip search next? I just love that rubber glove. <laughs> Hell, I just, I, I, I just try to come by here every Saturday night. Like, if I had drugs in my rectum, I'd eat them after they'd been there. <laughs> yeah, I'm dangerous, right. I stuck a knife up my own ass, so I'm dangerous. Like, it'd be kind of hard to run away in my profession, wouldn't it? Well, finally. Jeez! Burglar, burglar, burglar! Burglar, burglar, burglar! You're late, Wookie! What's your name? It's, it's Riley, sir. Karen Riley. And I don't mean to be disrespectful, sir, but my shift doesn't start for another five minutes. Gee, it's kind of funny being on this side of the line, huh? Nice to meet you, sir. Where are the donuts? Sir? Where are the donuts? What is this? Carrots, sir. You call yourself a policeman? Police officer. Yeah, police officer, whatever, cop. Huh? You call yourself a cop. Let me tell you something. This is a police precinct house. This is not a club med. Every precinct house will write this down. Every shift starts with donuts. <laughs> donuts are a must. Well, you don't read this in the rule manual? No. No? No. No, no disrespect, sir, but I scored 98% on my written exam, and I know that manual like the back of my hand. There is no such rule. There is. Well, there should be. <laughs> and my preference is for uh, Duncan. Uh, chocolate covered uh, with the crunchy nuts on the top there. No, no, sprinkles. I hate sprinkles. And you buy them by the dozen, you get a better deal. <laughs> yeah, my shift is up. Got to roll my kids over to the Star Trek convention. I'll see you in 12. I hate it. I hate it when we're on the staff like this. These long shifts, they're killing me. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, but is there anything else I should know? I mean, besides the donuts. <coughs> well, everything else is in the rule manual, but uh, this, uh... 98%? Look, what's to know? You, uh, you 
point the camera, you push the button, it flashes the works. It's a standard procedure. Hey, rookie. You do fine. Thank you, sir. Call me Pops. Everybody else does. Good night. Chocolate covered, little nuts, no sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Now, I did have a little bit to drink tonight, but not enough for me to be here. And this is ridiculous. What am I, a, a half a decimal point off? I mean, I'm fine. I, I am fine. Granted, I was driving down the middle of the road, but there's a logical explanation for that. <laughs> you see, I was driving down the middle of the road to protect the animals that... <laughs> That's right. I know it sounds strange, but just listen to me. You see, where I live, there's lots of trees on each side of the road, and animals come shooting out all the time. You know, like possums and, and skunks and deer, even. And that could be dangerous, not to mention... Not <laughs> gross. And, and, and expensive. <coughs> Have you ever hit a skunk? <laughs> no. Let me tell you, it is an experience that you will treasure for the rest of your life. <laughs> I hit one once. I nearly had to sell my damn car. <laughs> it's funny, you know, um, I'm from the Midwest, and I remember when I was growing up, I sort of liked the smell of skunk. <laughs> I couldn't understand why everybody was always acting like they couldn't breathe when, when they got a smell of it, you know, like someone had Cut a big one or something. <laughs> I used to just take a big whiff and enjoy it. <laughs> it made me feel so... It had a homey smell. <laughs> you know, in the car, in the country, sitting between mom and dad. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about the smell of skunk from a distance. I mean, God, when you actually hit one, that's a whole different ballgame. I tried it all. I tried a gallon of tomato juice, V8, Lysol, this little cardboard pine trees. Nothing, nothing worked. I even, I rolled down all the windows in my car and I drove 100 miles down the highway at 70 miles an hour.
over in my head. I mean, how do I even dream about it? And, and, and I don't mean a good dream. I mean a nightmare. I mean, why do you think our drivers carry under $20 is written right there on the box? It's right there in the damn box. Yeah, well, check out the next Domino's Pizza box you get delivered. It, it's right there. Domino's Pizza delivered? Well, if you hadn't, you're not from this planet. <laughs> Look, you really don't need to waste your film on me. My picture is just going to end up in the circular file anyway. Granted, it's not company policy to carry a gun, but I've had it. I mean, you go out there and deliver a few pizzas. Do it for about a week in my area. You'll see. It's a dangerous job, delivering pizzas. I mean, you go out there, deliver a few pizzas in my area. It's a dangerous job. You know, it, it's funny. When I first took this job, I was too embarrassed to tell anybody about it. I mean, it's kind of an end of the rope type job. At least that's what I used to think. I mean, not that I'm gonna not make a career of it. But the way things are now, it's better than nothing. I mean, you gotta do something. Unemployment just doesn't cut it. You try living on $210 a week. It's tough. So I went out and I got the only job I could find. Well, here I am. I'm the pizza girl. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about it. I mean, it's odd though. After being there for a while, I quit being embarrassed about it. I mean, there are guys there making an honest-to-God living, supporting families, kids in college. Luis Martinez has a son at Washington University, pre-med. Well, sure, I mean, they don't speak a lot of English. <laughs> the first month that I was there, I felt like I was working at the UN. <laughs> but you know what? They're getting by. They are surviving, and they're not bitching about it. And there's something to be said about that, in my opinion. And, and I can say that, because I used to be one of those people who looked down their nose at, at the pizza guy when I was in college, and, <coughs> and the raghead at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> but that's not right. I mean, they're doing what they can do. They're providing service. <coughs> You're getting your pizza on time. Most of the time. God forbid if you don't. I mean, you people really raise hell if we're just a couple of minutes late. I mean, I've had people waiting at their door with stopwatches. Seriously. <laughs> and, and you guys are no help. I mean, we know you lay low for us. We have a 30 minute time limit, so you think we drive like bats out of hell everywhere we go? Our area is only five square miles. I mean, I could do my nails and get there 99% of the time. Yes, driving the speed limit. But see, that's my point. I mean, if you could just realize what it is that we really need you to watch us for, things like, things like tonight wouldn't happen. I wouldn't be here. Ever hear of Pop Fun Boo? Gustavo Enriquez? Jenny Craig? No, not the diet lady. Jenny Craig. She's one of the drivers at our store, so it's not fun and Gustavo. Well, next time you're setting up one of your little speed traps, why don't you think about them? Top Fun Wu held up at gunpoint three times last year. <coughs> Gustavo Enriquez, badly beaten, concussion, three broken ribs. Jenny Craig, car stolen at gunpoint at four o'clock in the afternoon. All delivering pizzas. And where were you? <coughs> so I started carrying a gun. I mean, do I have to spell it out for you? Junkie needs a fix. A rock of crap is 20 bucks. 20 dollars. Ring any bells? I mean, why bother go out there and rob somebody when all you have to do is pick up the damn phone, dial, and have
money come to you wherever you want to be. Domino's Pizza delivers. So they end up getting a fix and something to eat out of the whole bar.
seems like comfortable, <clears throat> happy, living a good family life. Now, Phil doesn't get it. <laughs> living in some mansion with that girl. <laughs> People waiting on the hand to the foot. I'll bet Marlo doesn't have dishpan hands. Then he gets on the box and acts like he understands life in these United States. Well, he ain't got a clue. He don't know what it's like to haul freight for yellow transit 12 hours a day for 22 years. Hell, he claims to have answers, but he's screwing up people's lives. He, everything was fine until, until, I, until he came along. <coughs> you see, my wife recently got laid down, laid off down at the GM plant, and she suddenly found fear. Now she says, I've been choking her full potential to be the woman she's been hiding inside for years. But she might be a lawyer or a surgeon or discover a cure for cancer if it weren't for me. Damn it, she can't even balance a checkbook. Bill has a believing she's going to be the next Madame Curie. And it's all fine until he pointed that out to her. Why do these people have the right to come into my living room and profess to know what's best for my family? Push all their little buttons and screw up our perfectly normal lives. <laughs> oh, I take that show and watched it. Phil, Oprah, Sally, Joan, Raldo, all acting like they know the answers where there's no problem to begin with. <laughs> Shit, I think it's safe to watch Jim and Tammy. <laughs> days 
you're lucky if you're married for 53 minutes. <laughs> What's the matter with your generation anyway? No commitment, no discipline. The relationship seems to die, you let it. Instead of trying to figure out ways to keep it alive, like, like Annie and I did. Uh, unfortunately, uh, cancer isn't something you can anticipate. Can I show you a picture, Annie? Oh, uh, I think you like her. She's a beautiful lady. self-centered here, but uh, are bills expensive? See, I, I haven't paid them in over half a century. My, my annual took care of that for me. Well, if you worry, I've got a wonderful family. I'm sure they'll keep an eye out for me. I've got wonderful kids, too. And, and they think we made the right decision. So, uh, you think I'll have to be here long? Because uh, i got to get back to the mall and finish up my walk. I gotta get my exercise. The doctor says I gotta watch my health. Well, we got a good doctor. He had her hooked up to all them tubes with the, the drugs going in, or the lever of the pain. What? He, uh, he called it fentanyl. He even showed us a knob that would increase the dosage. But now, now listen, uh, I don't want to get him in trouble. He, he, he told us not to touch it. He wasn't the one sitting there in bed, in pain. Yeah, and nothing he could do. There's nothing anybody could do. We all knew she was going to die. He said, no when. Be uh, hours, a day, maybe a week. So the other night, the other night, uh, when the nurse left the room, uh, Annie called me over. possibility before, but I, I never thought I'd actually have to do it. She knew I was squeamish for that kind of thing, because of what happened to me as a youngin. You see, when I was a youngin, uh, my mother wanted me to go out and get the rabbit that was eating the vegetables in her garden. So I took my brother's BB gun and I shot it. But, but the problem was, it, it, his rabbit didn't die. It just, it just laid there in pain. It looked up to me. Start a job you can't finish. He went in that house and I was angry. I was mad. But after a moment, I realized he was right. You see that? The rabbit was at peace. And so was my aunt. Well, I know I'm taking up. 
lot of your time. I know you got work to do, and we all have to do what we have to do. I saw a few more folks back there. There you go. Hold up. You are a nice person.
friends okay. and family gonna say? Wait a minute, who cares? Who cares? The, the truth, truth of the matter is, is I'm, I'm proud, proud of myself. I know that, that sounds, sounds kind of odd, odd doesn't it? But, but I I'm am proud, proud of myself. It's a human life. It's my body. Someone has to stand Someone up for has to human stand rights. up for human rights. Plain and simple, basic human, human rights. rights. Of course, I never should have gotten physical. But emotions were running very high. Of course, I never should have slapped a woman. But that mob had me boxed in. The emotions were very high. Well, you, you understand, understand, don't you? Sorry. I guess you're one of them. Look, I certainly didn't mean to break the lobby window. God, I don't even remember picking up the brick. But damn it, they're murdering people in there. An abortion is a murder. Look, I certainly had a right to be there. I had an appointment. I'm not I'm a not violent, violent person. person. I, I lead a normal, normal average, average life with those people. People. So angry. So angry. Pushing and shoving. And pushing. And those signs in my face. And those signs in my face. And their crude remarks. Mouths. My God, I'm trying, trying to for save my life. lives. Why don't those people, those people get the get point? The don't they see how irrational they, they behave? How irrational they behave? They just don't have any common sense. It's plain and simple. It's my life. There are plenty of people who would be glad to adopt those children. There are thousands of orphans and foster children. Don't you think it's hard enough for a person to make this decision? It's not like I flipped a coin, heads, thumbs up, tails, thumbs down. I've spent hours fighting myself over this. I mean, I really do want to be a mother someday. Just not now. And not in this situation. I truly believe that my decision is the best for everyone involved. Yes, including it. Choose this. Just who's going to speak for those unborn children? Don't you think that they should have a voice in the matter? God created this, this miracle of life. No human has the right to take it. I mean, I wanted to have children, but I can't.